Welcome back everybody to this new video of TechPress. Today we're going to be diving into one of the most powerful tools of building trust and boosting sales in Shopify store, which is the product reviews. In the online world, customer reviews are your digital world of math. So many new Shopify store owners, how to even start collecting reviews or how do I display them effectively? You might feel like you're shouting into the void without the Crozio social proof. So the good news is adding product reviews to the Shopify store is not only straightforward, but absolutely by for e-commerce success. So why is this crucial? Because when you have your store, uh, it will be helping you, this uh, product reviews will be helping you, of course, to build instant trust and credibility and in an anonymous online environment, uh, reviews act as unbased endorsement for real people, making your brand more trustworthy. This boosts conversion rates, this provides valuable feedback and enhance the CEO. And yes, it reduces returns. So to go to the solution, there is an actual Shopify free product review application. So when it comes to this, there's a product review application developed by Shopify themselves, which means it's integrated similarly with your store. So to add this element, let's go and install the application. You can see that here we have one product. We have the full image in here. We have uh, the pet have removed and here appears as reviews. And that will be actually it. We have nothing else here. They wanted to focus into the reviews element. We already added reviews into this uh, product, right? To get started with this element, what I'm gonna be doing here is to go directly inside here, my Shopify element. Let's go for applications. And here into applications, I'm gonna type the word. Um, you can try to hit into the customization of the app store. And let's say that I just type product reviews. When I hit that, this should be showing me a lot of applications that I can download out totally for free. So if you look out for it, let's say, for example, that I just type the word Shopify, it should be showing you applications developed by Shopify, for example, the inbox, the email, the flow, the marketplace connect, the bundles, uh, translate and adapt, subscription, search and discovery, collapse, and so much more. So what I'm going to do here is to look out for Shopify and you want to look out for an application that can be helping you with this. Uh, totally for free. Now, for this process, we're going to be using this one uh, called the Judge.me, which is totally for free. Now, I'm going to click into it. I'm going to hit into the option that says install. And when I am inside this element of the app that judged me, I'm going to hit into this option that says install. This it should be helping me now into the left section. It should be appearing now the sidebar of my applications. You can see that we have all the applications that we have to download out directly in there. You can uh, install or uninstall elements that you will like or you will not like to see anymore into your Shopify. So I'm gonna click here into the applications. Let's go for the judge map me reviews. And I'm gonna to try to pin this into my navigation bar. Now that we are inside here, you'll be taken to the application dashboard. Here you can adjust some fundamental settings, for example, the average trading position, the layout template, the batches, the theme integration, and so much more. Everything can be focused here into my general settings, such as the color, the language, date format, the multi-language translation, the plan, my branding, integrations, and so much more. So I'm gonna just try to look out for a primary color. You can look out for a store logo. Here's my rating icon and get into save. So, when I wanted to cause uh, the passport chase review request. This is the most effective and passive way to collect reviews. So basically in the app dashboard, you can go directly into uh, inside the general settings that I want to get notified when a new review is created. And you can customize this element later. Now you can go for direct links or manual request. For a specific process or initial purchase, you can manually ask for uh, specific reviews, such as going into manage my reviews, and here I have all my reviews created. I can go and look out for questions and answers or moderation in product groups. If I hit into manage my reviews, you can see that we have all the reviews created, but the first thing to do when we want to collect reviews, I'm gonna hit into collect the reviews. So here I have track automatic review request here. I can uh, start by schedule some request and I can schedule manual request. So I can schedule my request for a name, an email, here's a product, the fulfillment date, and this is gonna be making the request after a few days. Let's say for example, John, example at gmail.com, and my product, I'm gonna just type 
and it should be up here, up here and here. So the order fulfillment date, let's say for example this one, and I schedule the request. And this could be sending me, of course, a manual re request to a single customer or even a batch via a CSV file. And it will be appearing now in here. You can even hit into the option that says email. So you can send your own emails and collect emails, for example. Thank you for your purchase. It will be really great if you made uh, a request for, uh, for it. Well, the next thing that you can do is to do it directly by yourself. Just go directly into uh, online store. Inside online store, look out for your product. And when you are inside your product, you click into it. When you click into it, it should be appearing down here, the customer reviews. So I'm going to hit into write a review and I just type a review title, start writing in here. You can add a picture if you want to and display the name and all of it. And when you hit into submit the review, it should be appearing now inside the judge that may reviews, hit into manage my reviews and there you go. It's going to be as easy as that. Just a pro tip is that consider offering a small discount or a future purchase for leaving a review. So you wanted to be transparent about this. You have uh, encouraged customers to submit photos or videos with the reviews. So visual proof is incredibly powerful, right? So try to be responsive, promptly address all the reviews, especially negative ones to demonstrate excellent customer services. So there you have it, the tax press champions. Adding product reviews to the Shopify store using the free product review application is a fundamental step towards building a successful, trustworthy and high converting e-commerce business. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if this was helpful for you. Drop them in the comments below. I love hearing from you all. Until next time, keep building that incredible online presence and getting those five stars reviews. See you next time.